Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing how you can repair a broken nail just with simple things that you can find around your house so you don't have to cut the rest of your nails to match that broken sad nail. Alright, all you're going to need is some nail polish remover to remove any existing nail polish. You're going to need a file, a buffering blocks, a pair of scissors, tea bag, and nail glue. So I am just starting off by removing the clear nail polish I had on. And here's a close-up of my broken nail. Alright, now I'm just grabbing my tea bag and I also have a paper towel just to place my tea bag once it's cut onto so I don't make a mess out of it. So I'm just going to start by cutting off small little pieces off of the tea bag. So I am going to start cutting off the tea bag into smaller pieces according to my nail size. So I am going to be cutting more than one piece just because I am going to be layering a couple of these just to ensure that it does make a strong nail and it doesn't start getting flimsy or start cracking again. So I did decide to place these little pieces vertically on my nail just because it made more sense to me. And just so it's easier to pick up the little pieces, I did use tweezers. I'm starting off by placing a little drop of glue onto the crack and then I'm going to pick up a little piece and I'm just going to place it directly onto where I just placed the glue. And quickly I noticed that the whole entire tea bag piece did not get saturated so I knew that I would need to put a little bit more glue on so that's what I'm doing right here. So do expect a little bit of glue to get onto your skin but that shouldn't be too big of a worry just because if you do take a warm shower it comes off pretty easily. So after adding a couple of layers of the tea bag, I am going to start filing. You do want to be really careful with the filing and be really gentle because the fibers do come off really easily. So I do keep feeling it in between just to see if it's all smoothened out and if it's not smoothened out I do go back with my nail file and I continue doing the same process. Just to smoothen it out I did use a buffing block which I found worked a lot better and it was a lot more gentle. And now you can see that it doesn't split anymore so this hack really did work and I'm really impressed with it. And now I'm just bringing some clear nail polish just to pull on over it. I'm actually very impressed that the tea bag isn't that visible. I am also going to be applying some nail polish onto this nail just to see if I can see any marks or indentations in it and to see if it completely smoothened out or not. I'm just grabbing a bottle of white nail polish and painting one coat of it on. And to be honest, so far so good. Like I didn't see any marks or I didn't see the square cutout or anything. Here I am applying a second layer and again it's the same thing. It was really smooth, it was flawless. Like you could not even tell that I had a tea bag under it. So I found this hack really effective and really quick. So I would definitely recommend it. If you enjoyed this video, do not forget to comment and subscribe. Until next time, bye!